Oh, good morning, all of my Bible students. How y'all doing this morning? We got a little something I want to talk about, and it's going to be a quick one. I'm not going to hold you long today. You know, sometimes the service be going long, but we're not going to go long today. So we got to get to the heart of the matter. And so we're just going to title this little thing right here. She washed his feet, but he washed her soul. Oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> Over in Luke 7, the Bible says that Jesus was invited to the Pharisee's house. Now, uh, if you know anything about the Pharisees, uh, <laughs> this has got to be a setup, baby, because they ain't trying to invite Jesus. They trying to kill him, but he got invited over to the Pharisee's house, so he decided to go, you know, because Jesus, like, you know, he hang out with anybody, the, uh, the blind, the lame, and that's the kind of people he hang out with. So to be invited to the Pharisee's house, that was a big deal, baby. And so he come on in and... Uh, Soon as he get in and get set down, he, he not yet settled in yet. This woman, the Bible says she was a sinful woman. So obviously everybody knew what she was doing around the way, baby. She, you know, but she was just trying to do, make a living. That's all she knew to survive. And so here she is coming into Jesus and she is crying her heart out. She is weeping and wailing and bailing and first thing i want to know is if this the pharisee house he got security how she get in again i think it's a setup but that that's another part of the story and so she begins to wash the master's feet and she begins to use her hair and wipe it off and then she pulls out this very expensive bottle of perfume they call it an out in an alabaster and she begins to pour it on jesus's feet and she massages the master's feet and then you know this is this woman you're not gonna believe this but she began to kiss oh the master's feet and by this time the Pharisee over here seeing this now, he was all right. He saw the tears. Okay, I understand you can cry. And then he saw her wipe the hair. Now that's a little bit too much. But then when he broke, she broke the alabaster and put the fragrance on and then get, oh, he, come on somebody. He said, the Bible says, he said in his heart, if this man were a prophet, he would know who this is and he would not be allowing her to touch him. Oh, he said this to himself, but Jesus, the omniscient one who knows and sees and hears and is everywhere at the same time, God heard what he said. And so Jesus said, oh, Simon, Simon, let me ask you a question. And Simon said, please, Lord, teach. I know you the great teacher. He said, that was a man. He was a creditor and he had two debtors and one debtor owed him 50 and another had ran it up to 500. Now, came along the creditor, decided he was going to forgive. He gave, forgave both of them freely. Now, Simon, let me ask you a question. Which one of them loveth more? The one that was forgiven 50 or the one forgiven 500? Simon thought to himself being a, a man, said, yeah, you know, if somebody owed me 50, you know, I might be able to get over that. But if you owe me 500, baby, I got to get paid. I'm going to need that money. So, uh, yeah, I guess, Lord, that uh, the one that you forgave, 500. You said it rightly, Simon. The Bible says Jesus turned to this woman, looks her in the eye, and says to Simon, Simon, from the time that I walked in here, you have not offered me a glass of water. Yet this woman's tears she is continually wiping my feet with the water from her eyes. You have not kissed me, yet this woman kisses my feet. You did not anoint my head with all, yet this woman has not ceased to anoint me with the oil. I tell you, because she has been forgiven so much, oh, she loveth much. But those who have only been forgiven a little, love it a little. That's why I'm glad today he gave, forgave all of my sins, the many, many abundant sins that I had in my life. That's why I love him today. I'm going to talk about him. I'm going to preach about him. I'm going to tell you about him. He delivered me. Oh, he washed her soul while she washed 
his feet. 